Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a photo is of glory divine. Heir of salvation, precious God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. The hymn knowledge is penned a glorious song. For Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 1, we are kept by the power of God through salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. God is keeping us day by day. And I say to you, as Paul said to the church at Corinth, behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Hebrews said, the day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. To hear all the gospel being preached, how Jesus atoned for our sins, and to ignore that, how shall we escape so great salvation? It was presented by Jesus at Calvary with his death, burial, and resurrection. The peril of it is to say, I don't want this salvation. But one day, every knee must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Don't gamble with your soul. Your soul will spend eternity in heaven or hell. Don't go to hell. Jesus opened the way early Sunday morning that we can go to that glorious city. He went up through the atmospheric heaven, the galaxy heaven, onto his heavenly home and carry the saints with him. And for those who so join here, he's calling us to him to live, move, and have our being and to spend eternity with him. Father, thank you for so great salvation, securing us, sanctifying us, redeeming us. You are wisdom and we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, help us to walk according to your will, your way, and your word. Amen. And from the Elizabeth Church family in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, praise God for each one of you. We love you. God bless you.